right, I'm gonna do a one take review and uh, some tips on this Craftsman electric weed whacker. You can see it right there. The brand and description will be in my comments. I've had this thing for about two years. Um, I'm not gonna do a full review of it. I like it, I used to have a gas one and I finally got to the age where I'm not pulling on uh, a gas weed whacker to get started. Um, battery, I never had the battery go dead using it. Snaps in like that. One of the big things I wanted to mention, because <clears throat> I ran through this problem, when you're out of string, this is how you disassemble it. There's two uh, clips on the side that you push in, and this thing pops off. And then your string goes on here, which I'll string this up real quick, because I got the string right here. Time lapse that, and it's string's caught in my uh, fishing line, of course. This is real life stuff, keeping it real. Going crappie fishing tomorrow. All right. So there's a notch in here that this goes into. And it comes and twists down, kind of locks that in place, which is kind of neat. And then there's an the arrow, which way you rotate it. So the, this, the replacement spools for this is uh, a way for them to make more money. I just buy this line. I can't even remember what diameter is. I think it's 0.63. Um, so I'm just going to spin this thing up. Whoa, almost lost it. The spring actually came off because I almost trashed this thing last week because I couldn't get the string to be fed out. And I'll explain that in a second. Which is why I'm making this video. So I, I like the weed, the weed eater, weed whacker, whatever you want to call it. It's Craftsman. Haven't had any issues. However, the way the line is fed through this is every time you start it, it pushes line out. So every time you hit the start button, it pushes line out. And there's a cutter right here. Um, you can also manually feed it line. There's a button right here while it's running to get line to come out. So what happened with the, what happens with these these plastic caps on the bottom, just like all the other weed whackers that spin, these get worn out and break um, and you have to replace them. Um, Amazon sells them and Lowe's sells them. This is the replacement part. So I had to go buy a new one of these and it didn't, uh, all of a sudden my line feed didn't work. And I struggled on figuring out why. When you buy these, it comes with a, a tension spring in here. This tension spring is, this is the original, and this is the replacement. If you can see, it's about an inch bigger. It's got more tension. So when I replaced this piece with this spring, my line feed didn't work. I had to flip it over, push buttons on the bottom, take it out to pull line out. It's frustrating. And I, what I figured out is the problem is, is the spring. It's creating too much tension, which is uh, making the uh, auto feed and manual feed not work. So my advice is when you buy one of these, they're like five bucks, save the old spring because it fits right on to the new one. And then when you put it back together, you won't have any line feed problems. It just snaps on here, screws on here. So I will put my spool on. Again, I almost threw this thing away. I'm like, gee whiz, two years old. Had to replace this cap, no biggie. But all of a sudden the line feed didn't work. And that, that was not cool. See, it sits right on top here. That's it. You can hear it click. You can manually pull it like this, and it keeps pulling it out. That did not work, again, with that oversized spring that comes with the replacement cap. 
so good to go. Five minutes, I'll time lapse some of this. Good to go. Hope this helps anybody. Do not use the spring if you're having problems. Worst case scenario, you could probably cut some of the spring, but just save your old spring for this cap, which is called a replacement spool cap and spring. Spring is junk. We're out.